Hello guys, today's lesson will cover integrating the intro mat. We shall discover more about the subject in this video. Select the browser, type introgmat and then click the login link. A page will then show on the screen. Here we have the option of entering the data manually or using a Google account. Just select the account and enter the information. There is a sign up option now where we may enter details such as email address, name, etc. Additionally, input your account. After that, a free trial will begin and information will automatically load in each box based on your needs. A welcome screen will a welcome screen with options will now show. Select the role that you have specified, select the industry, size, and number options. Then move on to the next screen. In every entity, selecting any option is optional. The primary homepage will now appear on the screen following that. There are now numerous options available on the left side of the screen, including options for or organizing the templates, including options for organizing and templates. More options, simply clicking on it, will display a selection of further options including device, data store, data structure, resource hub, and additional apps. The current primary screen for the entire scenario, where the scenario must be active, inactive, and concept choice. Additionally, a new scenario can be created. A screen will now show up. There is a target option in the middle of the screen in addition to numerous other options displayed on it. When you click on it, Further options may appear on the left side. Under the choice, there is a search bar as well. You can type in anything to search for. For example, if I type in recording, a list of options will appear. There are numerous options available, including end meeting, watch meeting, update meeting, delete meeting, and list meeting. When I choose watch meeting, the zoom symbol appears on the screen and a box on the right side of the screen pops up, allowing me to change the zoom webhook. Now that we have the option to select the hook, we can swipe down and select it. We can also add and amend. We can also create a webhook. Simply, simply click and change the names of the webhook to anything you like. For more, in, for more interconnection, we can connect additional choices. Simply select the add option, edit it and save it. Currently awaiting confirmation. Processing time is not long. After it is finished, a webhook page box opens and displays the webhook name, connection, trigger with two options and available events. Simply scroll down to see the various events there. So read it and choose the events that suit you. Select then click the save button. Now we have the option of moving the entire selection to a hidden screen any place. Just drag and adjust on screen. It is now for it is now far too simple to alter it anywhere on a screen. When we click on the zoom symbol on the right side, we will have the option to create a new module. There will be a too much of options displayed on the right side of the screen. Scroll down to see them or use the search bar. In this case, I am looking for mail. After typing mail, there will be uh, too many options, including draft email, copy email and others. Choose draft email and click on it. The Gmail option will then be linked with Zoom. We can easily add connection and add it. There will be both the Zoom and the Gmail icons may now be moved. There will be both the Zoom and the Gmail icons may now be moved and adjusted. Now we can add contacts in Gmail as well. Click on it and a variety of options including a search bar will be displayed. Also show a variety of options on the top. Just click and apply each option one at a time. We choose the calendar option and set the date. Next, add the function for working with arrays. 
add term variables, organizational variables, and scenario variables. Then add contacts one at a time by choosing various options, add subject and connection, and save. An error message displayed on the screen. This is because it is not possible to create restricted. To add a schedule setting, select click the zoom symbol. Any item on the list can be chosen and executed. Additionally, configure the time, date and advanced settings. There are currently two modules, but you can still add one more by selecting the Facebook module from the list when adding a module. On the last screen, there is a setup scenario option where there are various choices. Simply choose each one individually and customize it to your preferences. There will also be advanced options. Here we have option of notes. We can add notes in it which we want. On next we have align option. Here will be many tasks performed with that functions. We can arrange the all icons as we want. We can also export blue points, import and also provide many option in tools. We can add any tool in it. You can add workflows in it. There are many option in it. Tools are movable. The tools variable name is simple to change. As a result, we have options for text parsers. Several options will also be displayed on a hidden screen. We can also provide more alternatives. Simply choose the option, then add them quickly. There is a messaging option in it as well. Any icon may be mobile. A template option will now be available on the left side. Any open template is available for selection. We can connect as well. Choose webhook from the menu. We can change or delete the webhook that is already displayed there. We have also keys option. More may have a list similar to a device where we may add additional devices using the device option. The options for notifications, help and profiles are displayed below. Let's return to the home page. We can add a new team by clicking on team and entering the team name in the box that appears. Now that you have entered different information, you may also invite new users. This concludes our lecture. There will be a subscription option accessible with different details. It is simple to use and I hope you can watch the entire video and comprehend it. So this is end of our today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned from it. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please leave a comment with them. Subscribe to the channel as well. Stay careful and safe. We will see you in the next video.